my dear readers, listeners, and of course, friends. I come to you today not to mince words or spare feelings, but to speak plainly and directly about the intellectual travesty that is Jordan Peterson's latest podcast, episode 439. In this episode, Peterson hosts a man named Dr. Patrick Moore, who claims to be a co-founder of Greenpeace, a claim the organization itself disputes. But regardless of his pedigree, Moore spends the better part of two hours spewing the most egregious form of scientific illiteracy and climate change denialism I've had the misfortune of encountering in recent memory. Moore's central thesis, if one can call it that, is that carbon dioxide is not a pollutant, but rather a beneficent gas that is essential to life on Earth. He goes so far as to suggest that the burning of fossil fuels and the resulting increase in atmospheric CO2 is actually a good thing as it has led to a greening of the planet. This is, of course, utter nonsense. While it is true that plants require CO2 for photosynthesis, the idea that pumping more of it into the atmosphere is somehow beneficial is a talking point straight out of the fossil fuel industry's playbook. It's a deliberate attempt to obfuscate and distract from the very real and very urgent crisis of anthropogenic climate change. But Moore doesn't stop there. He goes on to make a series of increasingly absurd and unsupported claims, from suggesting that the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a hoax to asserting that plastic pollution is actually good for marine life. It's the kind of anti-scientific bullshit that one might expect from a used car salesman, not someone claiming to be an environmental expert. And yet, Peterson sits there nodding along and offering the occasional hmm and interesting, as if Moore is imparting some great wisdom. It's a sad indictment of Peterson's own intellectual laziness and his willingness to platform anyone who shares his disdain for wokeness and his fear of the so-called cultural Marxists. But perhaps I shouldn't be surprised, Peterson has made a career out of repackaging banal self-help advice as profound insights and presenting himself as a brave truth-teller in a world gone mad. In reality, he's just another charlatan, peddling pseudoscience and conspiracy theories to a gullible and disaffected audience. The fact is, the scientific consensus on climate change is clear and unequivocal. The Earth is warming at an unprecedented rate, and human activity, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, is the primary driver. This isn't a matter of opinion or debate, it's a matter of observable, measurable fact. By giving a platform to someone like Moore, who denies this reality and promotes a narrative that is not only false but actively harmful, Peterson is contributing to the spread of misinformation and the erosion of public trust in science. It's a betrayal of his responsibility as a public intellectual and a dereliction of his duty to the truth. But then again, truth has never been Peterson's primary concern. He's far too busy railing against the supposed excesses of postmodern neo-Marxism and bemoaning the decline of traditional masculinity to be bothered with such trivial matters as evidence and reason. In the end, this podcast is just another example of the intellectual rot that has taken hold in certain corners of our public discourse. It's a rot that thrives on ignorance, fear, and the rejection of expertise in favor of comforting lies and easy answers. As thinking people, we have a duty to resist this rot and to champion the values of reason, empiricism, and the pursuit of truth, no matter how uncomfortable or inconvenient those truths may be. We cannot afford to indulge charlatans and snake oil salesmen like Peterson and Moore, not when the stakes are so high and the consequences so grave.